Build scans are one of Gradle Enterprise's most useful features. Publishing a comprehensive and context-oriented view of the state of your build, almost like having an X-ray of the entire process. Developers and build engineers use build scans to easily diagnose build problems or understand and share build details. Lots of details are available about the build, like performance details such as task or goal execution times, a filterable and shareable view of the console log, and a convenient view of all dependencies, including transitive dependencies. It's easy to run a build scan, whether you're building with Gradle or Maven. For Gradle users, the easiest way is just to add the dash dash scan parameter to the Gradle build CLI command. You'll be prompted to accept the terms of service, and afterwards you'll be presented with a URL. If you want to automate the process, see the next video in this series. Maven users will add the Gradle Enterprise extension by creating or updating a couple of files. First, create a folder called .mvn in your project root folder. Note that if you'd like to set this up globally for your user, you can place this directory in your user's home folder instead. Now, create or update a file called extensions.xml and add the Gradle Enterprise extension. Just copy the following XML snippet into the extensions block. Just like before, you'll be prompted to accept the terms of service. When your build finishes, a build scan URL will be generated for you. That's it. Watch episode one of this series where you'll learn how to skip accepting the terms of service and make the scan fully non-interactive.